So I went through traditional business school as well, and I think that acquiring an actual business off of Flippa was infinitely more valuable than the business school. I'd say if there's one thing that I learned in the experience, it's actually how to run a business by, by running a business. Uh, my name's Jay, currently living in Bend, Oregon, and we run a software company here in Oregon. Yeah, I was definitely a tattoo artist. I started in the Navy, just uh, tattooing shipmates and, and friends on the ship. Who doesn't want a free tattoo while you're stuck at sea? As I was leaving the military, I got an apprenticeship and did it the legitimate way after that. And so I think the journey from being a tattoo artist to a entrepreneur, an online business owner, um, sort of happened organically. So I think I was kind of like window shopping and I came across Flippa. And Flippa is perfect for that because you can actually look at thousands and thousands of businesses, look at their models, look at what their offering is, and they actually reveal some of the structure. That's how I eventually found Tattooing 101. Flip is like the ultimate marketplace for buying and selling digital assets or digital businesses in the same way that eBay is for you know, antiques or whatever, Amazon is for books. Flippa is that for, for digital businesses, digital assets. When you're shopping on Flippa, there's, there's the entire spectrum of assets available. There's some that are a few hundred dollars if you're first starting out um, that maybe have a, a low return, low risk, low return. And there's some that are you know, thousands and thousands or millions of dollars in, in some cases. So I think getting in kind of where I was comfortable, which for me was a reach at that time for $10,000 to acquire this asset. As I grew, the business grew, and I could actually sell that and move on to the next thing. I think Flippa really facilitates Whatever level you're at, there's, there's a spot for you. There are a few I tried before Tattooing 101, but this one just really spoke to me. I was a tattoo artist. I was you know, in, the, in the same industry, of course. I want to be able to, like, of course, communicate with, with the sellers. And I, I met the guy and spoke to him for a while back and forth. And uh, we really hit it off. He walked me through the business and showing me kind of the ins and outs, what it looked like. And for me at the time, it was kind of a, a big leap to, to take that, that chance and, and, and try something else for sure. Yeah, when it comes down to you know evaluating assets or doing what's called like due diligence, I didn't know any of that when I first started with Flippa. I just thought that it was an in alignment with what I was already excited about and passionate about. I really hit it off with Dane, who was the seller. But it seemed like there was enough of a seed there that I, I could take what I did know about, which was tattooing, and, and grow it and see what it could become. Scaling the asset after I acquired it, it was looking at the pieces that were already there. And again, I didn't know anything about business or online business or anything really to speak of. So it's looking at what was working well and, and what I could improve upon. It did come to when you run into an obstacle or situation where let's say the main traffic is SEO. Okay, now I can start learning about that specific topic, SEO, and try and try and accelerate that one piece of it. I chose to sell the asset finally because I was just getting tired of teaching the technical side of tattooing. It didn't feel like it was in alignment with who I was anymore. And so I wanted to move on and focus more on more general marketing and leave the tattoo field aside. So I think I acquired the asset off Flippa for a few thousand dollars, maybe it was right around $10,000, maybe a little bit less. And for me at the time, that was a huge stretch, you know? So um, yeah, right around $10,000. And I had it for a few years, let's say, five years or so. And um, I can't say exactly how much I sold it for, but it was roughly 10 times what I, what I acquired it for. I think Flip has impacted my life um, in a significant way in, in, in terms of, uh, I've tried other ventures in the past, you know, drop shipping, physical products, e-commerce, had an agency, all these different things. And acquiring something already in motion off Flippa gave me the foundation to build on top of and take me to where I am today. Not just financially, but in terms of like lifestyle as well.